What up guys, Tuler here bringing you some more Sun and Moon information. Uh, looks like Pokemon uh, the company released a new trailer today. Uh, includes uh, Silvali, uh, Jing Mo's evolution line, some other pokes, and then um, I think it shows some new characters too. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into it and see uh, this new trailer. <laughs> Amazing evolutions. So yeah, now we got Type Null's evolution, which is Silvali. He's normal with the ability RKS system. It's pretty cool. So he's kind of like shattered the the helmet thing. Um, so his type his type changes while holding certain items. So he's kind of like Arceus. It's, it looks like his fins and tail change color. And then he's got multi attack that goes off the ability. Okay, now we got Jengmo's evolution. He's got Hakamo. And he's got Dragon Fighting, Bulletproof, Soundproof, then Kamo. -o. That's a really cool typing, Dragon Fighting. So I don't think they've actually done that typing yet. I like the design too, just the scales and kinda like he's got like scaled armor. It looks really cool. He's got a unique move clanging scales. Kinda of reminds me of Moivern a little bit. Okay, got Bond Sweet evolves to Steamy. And then Leaf Guard Oblivious, Pure Grass. And then we got Sarina. Sarina's Grass also, Leaf Guard and Queenly Majesty, I think it said. Let's see. Man, she got the legs though. <laughs> she got the hair flip too. <laughs> So, cannot use Aqua Jet, Queenly Majesty. I wonder if that just stops water moves, like water absorption. Trop Kick, a new move. So Cutie Fly evolves to Ribombi, Bug Fairy, Honey Gather, Shield Dust. Hmm. Interesting. Then we got Grimer, Muxalodon for him. They're Poison Dark. I really don't like Grimer's design. It looks like he's got some like honey mustard, or <laughs> some <laughs> just some honey on his like mouth or something. The muck looks pretty cool though. I like the uh, oil slick kind of colors, the rainbow colors. And we got new trainers. We got Olivia, the Kahuna of Akala Island, rugged little rock type. So I guess she's like a rock type kind of Kahuna. Got the nose pass. And we got a trial captain special and normal type, Lima. Cool. So I haven't I haven't really been super up to date on some of this news, but I wonder what the trials are, like if it's a side quest or I think they're supposed to be kinda of maybe replacing gym battles almost, like with the kahunas. Alrighty, so that looks like that's the end of the trailer. Um Let's go ahead and Let's see. Let's go ahead and replay it, and let's we're gonna watch it in slow mo so we can make sure we caught everything. Cause that trailer's pretty quick. Do it half speed. Alrighty, let's check it out in slow mo so we can get everything. I like the music slow mo. <laughs> All right, so we got Silvali. So, so yeah, I definitely like he has like a brown kind of helmet on and breaks through that from uh, when he evolves from Type Null. I'm glad they didn't keep the Type Null kind of name style. I didn't really like that. It's cool he has his own name, Silvali now. Um, so yeah, in this picture you can see where he's kind of breaking off the uh, the brown kind of helmet that he had, and then it's got the Team Skull leader there, like Gil Gideon Gil something like that. So yeah, his um, his little spikes and his tail change with this type, it looks like. Um, so he's a lot like Arceus, just where, where if he holds an item, I guess his type changes. And he's got the move Multi-Attack, which is kind of like Judgment from Arceus too. Just whatever uh, drive he's got, I guess, for his ability, he gets uh, does that attack style. That's going to be really, really broken in, um, if they give you that like mid-game. I hope, I hope it's going to be something maybe you get towards the end. Get, if you can actually even get type null. I hope we can though, he looks really cool. Uh, so we got Hakamo'o, Jang Mo'o's evolution. So 
So dragon fighting, bulletproof soundproof. So yeah, I, I love the design for these two. Just like got the plate armored scales and the arms and like on the neck and stuff. Like I'd say they're gonna be really bulky and uh, maybe really strong hitter and bulky, just slow maybe. He kind of reminds me of um, he kind of reminds me of Charmeleon a little bit, honestly. Definitely looks like a Charmeleon the way he's just kind of shaped. And then Jang Mo looks really awesome too. He's got like a. It looks like he's got a second layer of plate too. Like he's got it on his arms and then like a second layer. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I really like his design. I think that was a cool. Uh, that's a cool evolution. I'm gonna be definitely excited for that. And uh, the Jang Mo evolutions and using them, see their stats and stuff, how they play out. So we got Bon Sweet evolves to Steeny. So I'm really curious about the the uh, full evolution of the what's her name Serena Serena because uh, that Queenly Majesty ability completely stopped that Aqua Jet in the first part. So I wonder if it's supposed to uh, if it's like water absorb maybe like you can't use water attacks or something. <coughs> They're using like Razor Leaf or something. And then. Let's see. Yeah, she reminds me a lot of Lilligan design, just kind of like a grass princess. <laughs> just got the, the flip back. So, Queenly Majesty ability, Aqua Jet. Cannot use Aqua Jet. So, that's what I'm assuming is you just can't use water moves, maybe? That's going to be broken for uh, double battles. Then she's got a new move, Trop Kick. So, I guess she's probably going to be a physical attacker because I got Razor Leaf and Trop Kick. That's kind of cool. There's not a whole lot of really good grass physical uh, Pokemon, so hopefully she's going to be fast and have good attack stat. Then we got Rabombi, which is Bug Fairy. Ah, I mean, it's a kind of a, a coolish design, I guess, but it's it's going to be so weak. It's going to be weak to uh, poison, steel, rock, fire, flying. It's going to have a lot of weaknesses. I don't, it's going to be a lot like the other bugs, like Bug Flying and stuff. It's just going to be really weak or really frail. So now we got Alolan Grimer and Alolan Muck. So again, like I, again, I don't really like the Grimer design. It's it's not a it's got like the two teeth and then like a little mustard stuck on his face or something. But uh, I like Muck though. The Muck design definitely looks pretty cool. Now the Poison Dark type is a really good typing too, because I think it's like I think it's only weak to ground. Maybe it might be weak to fighting too. I can't remember Poison Resist fighting. I feel like it does. But um, yeah, it definitely looks like it's going to be pretty strong having that typing now because no more psychic weakness. So yeah, I like the design of, uh, of Muck for sure. It's kind of got like that rainbow oil slick kind of color going on to it and got like a bunch of teeth and claws and stuff on them. So we got some two new trainers, the Kahuna and that Captain. So we got Olivia is the uh, Kahuna of Akala Island. And she's got rock type, I believe is her type. I wonder what else she has besides a nose pass. I wonder if there's some new rock types we haven't seen yet. She might have rock rough, I'd say. Um, I wonder if there's any other ones though. You know, she's got three Pokemon, got nose pass. That's one of them. Let's see. I'm really interested in the trials though with this guy. Like, uh, I haven't. I've seen most of the release videos, but I don't think they covered trials a whole lot. I believe. Um, but he specializes in a normal type, so... What I'm kind of assuming from this is that, that you'll go through the trial quest, and then like maybe at the end you fight the uh, the captain. So kind of replacing gym battles a little bit, the Kahunas being maybe like similar to the Elite Four maybe. Like a pseudo Elite Four. That looks really cool though, I love like the uh, art back there, just it's really 3D and I cannot wait to play Sun and Moon guys. All right, so that's the end of the uh, video. Let's go ahead and let's check out uh, some of the info on Sun and Moon's website. So here first we got Silvali. Um, so it, it evolves from um, a partner it can trust, then it destroys a restraining device, it wears. So I bet he's gonna probably evolve from friendship or something like that. Um, I'd say we'll probably get him in that case that uh, I'd say like once you maybe beat uh, Gideon or whoever the team skull guy then you'll uh, I'd say we'll probably get type null and then just he'll evolve a friendship <coughs> uh, 
Um, so yeah, his ability is RKS System, uh, which no previous Pokemon ever had. Um, by having Silvali hold items that correspond to each Pokemon type, you can change its own type. And Multi Attack is a move that can learn change based on the type related into items Silvali is holding. So he has a lot of, like Arceus and Judgment and stuff. You can just you'll have different attacks for whatever item he's holding. Uh, let's go back and check out <coughs> some of the other pokes. Synthetic Pokemon. Again, it looks like a Chimera kind of. It's a really cool design. I can't wait to use him. Then we got the Jingmo Evolution. So we got um, Hakamo. Uh, <coughs> let's see. When a Jingmo evolves into Hakamo, it breaks from its its fellows. Yeah, its fellows, and begins to live on its own to train itself. Whenever it can find Pokemon to battle against seems to appear. Hakamo dances before battle to show its strength, changing its scales together to make them ring out. When this when this dance reaches its climax, Hakamo bellows a fierce war cry to challenge its opponent. Dang, that sounds pretty awesome. So he's just kind of just, just challenging people with his war cry. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, definitely some cool lore to it. But yeah, he definitely looks really aggressive. Kind of like a mix between Charmeleon and like Drudagon or something. Definitely looks really cool. Uh, its scales make for fine armor, so Hakamo doesn't worry about self defense as it makes multitudes of strikes and overwhelms its opponents. But as a result, its scales often become damaged and get torn off. They grow back immediately, so this does not cause Hakamo undue concern. In fact, if used, the number of lost scales is proof of how ferociously it has fought and it brandishes its bared arms and boasts of victory. Dang, that's pretty, that's pretty metal. The Jangmo line is definitely metal. Um, <clears throat> let's see, we got Kamo O. And these are both dragon fighting too, so that's a really cool typing. Uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure they haven't done dragon fighting yet, so definitely really cool to uh, incorporate that. And Bulletproof Soundproof is going to be pretty cool too. Um, and I guess it's kind of a sound based ish Pokemon with the whole uh, clanging scales ability. So that's why it kind of reminds me of Noivern a little bit. Just kind of being a sound based dragon, but it's kind of the opposite because it's dragon fighting instead of dragon flying. Um, See, so yeah, at the end of its harsh training, Hakamo evolves into this overwhelmingly powerful form. It returns to the land of its birth, where it watches over the Jengmo from a distance. So it's kind of like a little elder dragon just watching over the young. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a legend that says Kamo is covered in glittering and glittering scales in order to drive away a great darkness covering the world. The reason these Pokemon seek out battle is to gain power needed to defeat the darkness when it detects someone approaching this pokemon rings the scales on its tail to announce its presence and has no desire to battle against weak pokemon dang that's pretty cool um so with the darkness i wonder if it's supposed to be something that uh it combats kind of lunala maybe um that's pretty cool though um i definitely like to see some more lore with uh, the kamoos and stuff um, Kamo's greatest move is the uppercut it swings and its arm up from below in a punch of great skill and force sending its foe flying into the sky. By raising its arms aloft it can generate a force powerful enough to change the face of the surrounding landscape. Dang, that's pretty, that's pretty sweet and just punch so hard change the landscape. Yeah, this guy ain't nothing to mess with. Um, and then clanging scales the move that only Kamo can learn. It scrapes the scales covering its body against one another, attacking with a great clamor. After using this move, Kamo's defense is lowered. So it's kind of like, like Draco Meteor almost, but with defense instead. Um, I wonder if it's going to be dragon or fighting, though, is the move. Um, didn't really, I don't think it really showed much in the trailer on what type that move was going to be. I'd say it's probably dragon, but um, I don't know. We'll have to find out. Alright, and then we got this little guy, Rib Ribambi. <coughs> uh, uh, so, Ribambi collect flower nectar and pollen to make it into balls known as pollen pluffs. Uh, these serve as food, and what's more, they also can cause effects like paralysis or dizziness. Hmm. Um, interesting. I wonder if that's going to be maybe an item or something. So, Ribambi may use puffs. To strike your opponent during battles, some of the palm puffs that Rabambi make also have relaxing effects or can relieve tiredness. These are distributed around the lower region as high priced supplements. So it might be kind of like protein and all that stuff, having pollen puffs. That's pretty cool. Um, 
Let's see. Rabambi hate getting rained on. They're covered with fluffy hairs that hold the pollen they've gathered, and the rain makes them wet and dirty. The lowland people know that if Rabambi are bustily visiting the fields of flowers, you can be sure the fair weather will continue. Cool stuff. Again, it looks like it's going to be kind of weak, though, being bug and fairy, though. It's going to have a lot of weaknesses, though. Kind of like most of the bug flying bugs that they have. Um, let's see, we got four more pokes. We got Steeny, uh, which is just grass with Leaf Guard and Oblivious. Um, the, the calyx on Steeny's head is harder than Bond Sweet, so Steeny no longer worries about being stabbed by other Pokemon. As Bond Sweet, this Pokemon may have preferred to run away from others, but now Steeny and other Pokemon can play together. Upon evolving, this Pokemon's fragrance becomes even more delectable, but also gains a tomboy-like personality. Living together with one is quite the ordeal as it moves around and spins its calyx, striking nearby objects, but Steeny couldn't care less. Huh, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, Steeny unleashes combo moves using the calyx on its head and its hard legs. Yeah, it's got the the hard legs there <laughs> um, use that uh, that drop kick first it smacks opponent with the calyx on its head and when its opponent flinches it lands a whacking great kick that usually does the trick so yeah that, that drop kick signature though um, so yeah I guess it's gonna be a, a really strong like physical attacker so I mean like it's even got the little crown kind of like Lilligant has with Serena so it definitely reminds me of Lilligant but just like in a physical form maybe um, and I'm really curious how that Queenly Majesty ability, if that really does just negate like all water moves or if, uh, or what, because that's going to be broken if it does. So Serena has the nature of high class nobility. Any Pokemon or human that approaches it with evil in mind will be punished forthwith. It even turns fearsome glare upon its own trainer if the two of them are not fully in sync or if its trainer orders it to use a move that will be ineffective. Uh, only the strongest of Steenie are able to evolve. When this happens, the Steenie evolves with the blessing of other Steenie. It then uses strength to protect the Bond Suite. So, like, kind of like uh, Kamoa, it seems like a lot of these Pokemon just kind of uh, watch out for the uh, beginning forms and stuff, kind of like the baby Pokemon. So that's kind of cool. Um, Serena is a high-kicking virtuoso. Also, uh, it has honed these skills beyond the level it has it achieved as a steamy and attacks with graceful movements at the same time its fragrant mesmerizes its opponents dealing them a secondary attack trop kick is a move that only serena can learn it lowers an opponent's attack by shower with blazing hot kicks in a style similar to that originating from tropical countries it's said that this pokemon loses its strength if touched on the crown like protuberance on its protuberance on its head some Serena have the Queenly Majesty ability, which no other Pokemon has previously had. The effects of Queenly Majesty are so intimidating that it prevents opponents from using priority moves. Oh, okay. So it completely stops priority moves. Um, that's pretty broken. Like, just to be able to stop Sucker Punch and Ice Shard and all those like really strong meta moves that are used. So, yeah, I could definitely see Serena being used a lot in um, VGC and like double battles and stuff, having that just canceling out. Um, priority moves and stuff so that's a really strong ability it's that's gonna be really good to have all right let's go back and check out the Alolan Grimer and Muck so we got Alolan Grimer um, again like with his design just it looks like he just ate like some bad mustard and then like got some chiclets or something stuck in his teeth because uh, it just they didn't do really much with him they just changed his color and added some mustard to his face so again, I don't really like the design. I think they could have done a little more with it. Like it almost seems like they're being a little lazy with it and just threw dark on him and gave him some mustard and a green color. Um, see, when the population of the Alola region increased, dealing with our garbage became a serious problem. As a solution, Grimer were imported from other regions. They fed primarily on garbage, so their body composition changed as did their form. What appears to be teeth in this Pokemon's mouth are in fact residual toxins from the garbage it eats, which have hardened and crystallized. No method has been discovered to break down these crystals. Direct contact with them presents a, da a danger. Uh, Alolan Grimer is always eating garbage, but its consistent hunger will cause it to begin eating other manufactured objects. It, if it runs out of garbage to feed on. There are more than a hundred Alolan Grimer in a Alola's garbage processing plants and all the garbage produced in the Alola region is taken for use as their food. Interesting. So it's not actually teeth. It's um, it's crystallized like toxic. So I mean, I guess that that makes it a little better. I mean, they got a little bit more like background to them and stuff. But 
I, I still still like the design. Like they they had the right idea, but they they screwed up a little bit the design for Grimer. Um, let's go back and check out Muck. I do like Muck's design though, just like the oil slick kind of rainbow color with. He's got a bunch of those toxic shards like all over his body. Um, let's see. A level muck eats whatever it is in reach without pausing, and it feels the sharp pangs of hunger. It runs a muck. Um, it's though that it's thought that its ferocious appetite stems from an inability to maintain its energy levels without a constant influx of toxins. Toxins have accumulated in a lowland. Muck's body from a steady diet of various waste products and manufactured materials. This accumulation has brought about a chemical change producing a new kind of toxin. Uh, a lowland muck has the same poisonous crystals as a lowland grimer, but they're not limited to its mouth. They extend from all over the surface of its body. A lowland muck uses them to attack just like other Pokemon use their fangs or claws, and these highly toxic crystals are easily knocked loose, making them extraordinarily dangerous. So that would be kind of cool if uh, they did something to where, like, if you knock him out or um, if you like got a crit on him, maybe like he just dropped toxic spikes like for his little crystal shards or whatever. Um, I guess they probably won't though, because it's already got the ability poison touch and gluttony. But uh, that would have been a cool thought to give him like another ability. Uh, the Grimer muck in the Alola region produce and store their toxin within their body. So unlike the Grimer muck in other regions, you won't detect any unpleasant aromas when you draw near one. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. So they kind of hold all that, that stank to themselves. <laughs> um, let's see. And the last bit of stuff we got was uh, some of the new trainers. So we got a new Kahuna. Um, so we got the original one. And then we got Olivia, which is the rock Kahuna for the second island. Uh, you visit on the island challenge. Um, let's see. Uh, her skills extraordinary as can only be expected from someone chosen to serve as Kahuna at such a young age. Yet she still insists that she's just a normal girl. I mean, don't you're not normal if you're a Kahuna. That's the uh, the top dog. And then we got um, Lima, the trial captain. So Lima, he's an expert normal type Pokemon. Captain Lima graduated from the trainer school and is a hero to the students of that school. So yeah, like uh, again, like we got some other trial captains. So I'm pretty sure they're doing something like the gyms maybe with trials. So we got like one, two, three, four. So yeah, we already got five trials. So um, I guess like the, the trials um, are, it's not the island challenge, but it's its own thing. And it's probably going to be replacing the uh, gyms kind of, but doing just trials um, with each island and stuff like that. Um, so let's see. I think that's about all our Sun and Moon info though, that we've gotten so far. Um, yeah, I'll definitely, uh, I'm going to be covering the special demo for Sun and Moon uh, the 18th when that comes out. Um, as long as everything's good on the DS to stream and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll be covering that, and if any more info comes out, we'll definitely cover that too. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for wa uh, watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.